Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Spider-Man video. I want to do a weekly top 10 list. That is my goal. Every Thursday is going to be top 10 Thursday, all right? So, like last week, I know it was on Friday, but there was some news, so it got pushed around. But anyways, today we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst Spider-Man sets ever released to date. Now, I know that a lot of them might be a bit controversial, and I, and this is just my opinions. Again, I own almost all of them that I have here on the list, so I did like them enough to actually buy them. But a little bit of rules here for the series. I'm not going to be looking at poly bags, no Duplo sets, uh, none of the mini doll weird things that were in the Spider-Man 2 sets. Those are going to be obviously spot one and two on the list. So I just want to look at the systems one and some of the more recent ones. And a lot of them, they're not bad. It's just there's a lot of glaring errors in them and mistakes that I think could have been approved on. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with spot number 10 on the list. We've got set number 76133, Spider-Man Car Chase. And this one came out last year. And my biggest problem with this is that it's got a ugly vehicle. You'll see that with almost every single set on this list, they're included because it has a stupid Spider-Man vehicle. I know that in the comics and stuff like that, even in the, Into the Spider-Verse, he had the spider buggy and all that. I think that it is just so stupid. I get why <laughs> that Batman has vehicles, right? He can't fly, he can't swing from building to building, but you've got Spider-Man here. He doesn't need a spider car, okay? He doesn't need all of these weird vehicles that we'll take a look at. It has just been such a glaring problem that I have had since the beginning of the Spider-Man sets that we've been getting with Marvel superheroes. So this one, this is here. I don't get why he needs a car, um, but this is a better build than a car that we'll look at later. And to me, the character here is just, it's, I don't, it's Green Goblin, and I wish that it was a new character. It's, to me, kind of doing the same thing that they did with the batman wave of sets you're giving us a character that we get all the time give us someone new give us someone exciting if not in a small set then give us it in a big set instead of getting him here we have already two other really good green goblin figures that kind of look just like this so to me it just kind of devalues the one that's from the bridge battle set which is in our top 10 list if you want to check that out and i don't know i would have preferred that this be electro or in his comic book outfit or at least someone new someone in a different outfit that we've never gotten before to me it's just kind of weak and that's why it's here at the bottom it's not that bad it's just comparatively to a lot of the other ones it's pretty bad but spot number nine goes to 76114 spider-man spider crawler and i gotta hand it to whoever designed the spider crawler that thing is amazing. I love the feature. It just, it's so cool the way that one arm moves up and the other one moves down. It just, just looks so cool. Um, and this set has really good figures as well. So I can't really put this one higher up on the list, even though it is such a stupid vehicle. And I, again, I'm sorry for saying that. It's just Spider-Man doesn't need this garbage. It just, it doesn't make sense, but Anyways, moving on to spot number eight and spot number seven. They are far from home related and my problems with it is spoilerish based. So if you don't want to know anything about it, if you haven't seen the movie yet, just, you know, jump ahead, hit the time code in the description to skip ahead if you want. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's start things off with set number 76130, Stark Jet and the Drone Attack. I know everyone's biggest problem with this set is Happy Hogan. And I 100% agree. It is such an ugly looking figure. It looks nothing like Jon Favreau and is something that I kind of think that is a problem with Spider-Man sets or at least Marvel sets is that they can't get the likeness for some of these characters. So they just reuse heads that they think will work. I, I don't get it. Like it looks nothing at all like happy um but there is some saving qualities for the set uh first off you've got uh the amazing nick fury the best figure that i think we've ever gotten for nick fury and i actually like the design of the jet i'm not too big of a hater on it it looks pretty good it just it could be using some more features i'd say uh it would be cool that if in the back you could have like a little suit building area where maybe you have this blue and red suit as well as the black 
and red suit which to me this is one of my favorite scenes in the mcu now if you haven't listened to the ashen cast where we talked about the spider-man far from home movie i talked about my favorite scenes in the mcu and this is one of them because it had one of the most heartfelt moments and i think that everything with endgame that was such a big scene and to have it here in lego form i think it's a really missed opportunity to have maybe a peter parker figure here and to have the black and red suit here you see it in the trailers he's hanging off the side while happy's playing the tunes you know and it's just it's really sad to me the drones also should be white uh, in terms of accuracy but other than that I, I i don't really mind the jet and it's why it's kind of low on the list but this next one maybe should belong a lot higher because i really don't like this i know a lot of people do but anyways set number four zero three four three spider-man and the museum break in and i'm sorry i know that a lot of people love this minifigure set but i just don't like it i get that ned's here great it's fantastic ned should have been in the molten man set a hundred percent i know everyone loves the fireman and everything but he should be there not here it doesn't make any sense for this set to even exist and if the set did exist do you know what needs to be in here the red black and white suit the upgraded suit it is just such a shame that we have never gotten it in minifigure form and i don't know if we ever will unfortunately and that marie hill figure is just horrible she's using rose tico's face from the last jedi who is a person of asian descent so it makes no sense for colby smolders to be using it Colby Smulders has not yet had a unique face print, even in the Helicarrier. She was using Diana's or Wonder Woman's. Been around in the MCU for how long? And she's not using a good face here. And the torso is Bruce Banner's, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, it's just such a mess. Spider-Man wasn't even in the museum. Next, we've got set number 10665, Spider-Man, Spider-Car Pursuit. And again, this is just such a lazy set. This is, I think, worse than the other set for a lot of reasons. The car build is worse. It has wings for some reason. And Venom is here, which is just so weird. Like, you just had him in a set, I think, the year prior. And... I don't get why he's here and it's the same figure as well. It would have been so cool to get a different villain here. Again, come back to classic Electro or someone else other than Venom. It is just such a shame here. And I like that Lego is learning, at least with the past two junior sets for Marvel, we've gotten two variants of classic villains that we've gotten before. So I do like that a lot, um, but to me, it's just lazy. The car looks worse than the other one. Moving on to spot five, halfway through the list, we've got set number 4857, Doc Ox Fusion Lab. Now I know a lot of you are probably like, well, some of these studio sets for Spider-Man and the other Spider-Man 2 sets, they're pretty weak, but I think that at least with the studios ones, it's a different sort of category because they're studios. Like, of course, the wrestling one is really weak, but you can't compare. But this one is just, I don't know what this is. It's so weird. It, I don't really get what's going on here. You can close up the lab to have the side with Harry actually come in behind to have the fusion lab closed off. But then the ground is different where the lab is to the actual ground floor. So it just, it, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. The building is red for some reason as well. It's just not accurate. And it just, it's so strange to me. I don't really get it. There's this play feature that you can knock Doc Ock off. He's like on a treadmill or something. I don't know. It just looks so weird. And there's an ambulance here that you can't even fit him inside without taking the arms off. So that doesn't make sense. But I guess the only good part of this set is probably the Doc Ock variant that doesn't come in any other sets, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird, and when I was going through them all, it's just strangest, I think, out of any of them, and it just doesn't really fit. In fourth place, we've got set number 76113, Spider-Man Bike Rescue, and I really don't like Spider-Man vehicles and big, chunky, huge vehicles that aren't even minifigure scale, and this set does both those things, and this to me just feels like a worse version of the other Carnage and Miles Morales set that we got, which is cheaper and has a much better and more exclusive figure than this other Spider-Man that comes in all the other sets. I don't get why they don't think that the Miles Morales can't hold his own here and have his own set like the other one. Maybe the other one didn't sell well, I don't know, but 
I don't get why Peter has to be here. The little lab build doesn't need to be there. It's just increasing the price, even though that's a better build than the bike itself. To me, it's just the two figures for Carnage and Miles feel like a downgrade from the past one, so I don't really like them. And that's why it's so high up on the list, is that it just feels like a rehash that's not as good as the one before, and it's more expensive, and has a boring third figure. And in third place, I don't know why, but a lot of people were disappointed that I left this out of the top 10 list and it's set number 76059 spider-man doc ox tentacle trap i have no idea why people like this set i think it is absolutely ugly looking and if you don't actually own it the thing tips over all the time it is horribly built it has no articulations for the legs it is just so ugly to look at i don't get why <laughs> people wanted this in the top 10 list it, sure it has some really great figures like i love that we finally got a comic book vulture that doc onk you'll find out my opinions on it when i do a comparison video of him and the white tiger is also awesome because they were actually finishing the web warrior figures i mean we didn't get everyone of course like squirrel girl but it was cool to get white tiger here and captain stacy like really cool inclusion didn't expect that but i just i don't get why people like this i look at this thing and it looks so ugly the arms are just so huge for the doc Ock tentacles you can put those on his back and it just it does not work i don't get it i'm sorry <laughs> i get a lot of hate but i just think this huge thing is just so bad to look at go back and forth between first and second but in second place we've got set number seven six zero one four and it is spider trike versus electro and this set oh man i remember when the leaked images of this set uh first came out and it had concept art it was gonna be the classic yellow and green electro and they decided to do this and to me i get it's about to, it's supposed to be from the ultimate spider-man show but just such a shame we've never gotten the classic green and yellow electro and that's not even why i don't like this set it's the stupid trike thing like why why does this exist it should not exist it is so ugly looking and we had a bike as well with the nick fury set and this is just horrible it can move a little bit but why does it need to move up and down it's just so ugly he doesn't need this he doesn't need this stupid trike and in first place no surprise i don't think i know this one's hated by a lot of people it is set number 76016 spider helicopter rescue and this is just yikes i know a lot of people hate the ultimate spider-man show and I, I they don't like the green goblin big figure i get that and the glider there is really chunky the helicopter is just horrible what on earth is going on here it just he doesn't need it he doesn't need a helicopter i don't understand it's like giving superman a car or something or the, the flash with the flash mobile just it doesn't make sense. If you can swing, you don't need to swing to a helicopter with your name plastered on it. The only redeeming features of the set is the MJ figure, the Green Goblin big figure, and of course the Luke Cage figure. But other than that, I'm very disappointed with this one. I think that this is just absolutely just atrocious. It's just so big and chunky and I don't get why he needs this again. Please someone explain to me why Spider-Man needs vehicles. I always saw this set on sale because no one would ever pick it up because it just looks so darn bad. But anyways, everyone, I'm sorry. I, I, I saw some comments about, oh, you're always more positive than other people when it comes to stuff. And well, I hope you enjoyed the ashen negative side of me here today. Uh, I, I, I love spider-man and i love a lot of the sets that we've gotten and uh, it was a little hard actually to come up with 10 i know that i said last week i'd be able to do it but uh, it was a bit of it, it was hard to choose some of these because i think that some of them genuinely aren't too bad it's just 
they could really be improved upon and i think that they can be improved upon but anyways everyone i hope that you enjoyed this top 10 list please i want to know if you agree with me uh do you too hate spider-man vehicles but anyways <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you all have a great day if you have any suggestions for top 10 lists, leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear them because we're going to be doing this weekly. I will see you all in the next one.